Hey folks, Mike Murphy here. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to answer a question I got about how to save a ScreenFlow file so you can use it at a later date. Say you want to, you know, make a, a tutorial and you want to save that file of ScreenFlow so you can change it, make edits to it down the road. Okay, so first thing you want to do, and just so you know, I am in ScreenFlow 5.07. I know there's a later version of 6 that's, you know, probably if you just get in it, you're going to get version 6. This is the older version, but the same concepts are going to apply for either one. Okay, so I am in ScreenFlow 5, but this will also work in ScreenFlow 6. It just might look a little different. So, you know up here you get the little video camera. That's your ScreenFlow icon. And most people go right to that and start recording a screencast. Then when you're done with the screencast, the window pops up, and then you go through your editing and whatnot. Well, I'm going to tell you the mistake I have made time and time again when I first started it's easier if you start your project first. Create your project folder. Create all the stuff behind the scenes first. Then when you're done editing, you have everything set up. Rather than waiting till the end to save things, start in the beginning and that is a better workflow to start with. So what do you do here? When you click configure recording, you're gonna get the splash screen. You've probably seen this already. This is where you tell it to you know, choose your monitor if you wanna record from your iPhone or iPad. If you want to record from your FaceTime camera or your webcam audio, you've seen this before. There's also a little button here that a lot of people don't even know is there because they don't see it. You can change the frame rate if you need to do so. But anyways, most people will go here and set up their, their configurations, right? Well, over here on the left, I ignored this for a long time. There's new documents then there's recent documents. This is stuff that you just recorded and you can actually, these are your files. So if that's all you needed, then there are your files right there. And it's going to take you into those files. So you can see here, I just clicked it and it opened up. Okay, so that's one way of finding your old files that you've already recorded. But another thing, the thing that I do now, um, if I'm ever doing a ScreenFlow project, I start with the new document. And here, normally it defaults to this, 2080 880 by 1800, because I have a Retina MacBook Pro. Well, that's not a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, so when I'm done editing, I have to reconfigure the size to fit it into a 16 by 9 ratio, which is what you know you would upload to YouTube. So before I start recording, before I start doing any tutorial, I change this to 1080p. That gives me the ratio that I want, so my canvas, when, when ScreenFlow opens, is going to be the right size. So you see here, when I open that, this, this is a 16 by 9. This is what I'm going to upload to YouTube. However, if I had kept it, if I had kept it the same way, which is the default, which I can't can't even tell you how many times I've started a ScreenFlow project, when I open it up, I'll get this. It kind of looks the same. I'll start editing, and then when I go to save, I realize that I am not in a 16 by 9 ratio. So a good habit is to start your project first, configure the recording, new document. I change the ScreenFlow to 1080p. Then here, I click that and I start a new file, okay? And then what I typically will do before I do anything, before I record my screen or anything, I will save this document, okay? So I'll click save and I'll say, where do you want to save it? Well, I never save it to my desktop, but I will for this sake. I'm going to say sample tutorial sample ScreenFlow, okay? Don't, you don't have to do anything hide the extensions on. So it's going to be a ScreenFlow extension, okay? So I'm going to hit save. That file right there in my ScreenFlow sample is my ScreenFlow project. So whatever I do to my ScreenFlow project, if I want to go back and edit this at a future date, all I have to do is double click it, ScreenFlow open, and all my assets will be there. So once you're done with editing, you hit save, and you're done. You can always go back to this file that says .ScreenFlow and edit it at a future date. So hopefully that answers your question. The main thing you want to do is when you go to this video camera, configure recording, don't forget about these right here. Recent documents, so you can see here the sample screen flow is now in my list. New document, change that dimensions to the one that you want. And then new recording, this is where you configure and set up your microphone and your cameras. So that's Mike. Hope this helped. Cheers.